Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about Create Studio and actually it's a really good tool that I have found that it's actually for the price. It's a one-time payment that it's cost around $47 or more or less. And actually for the price and have it unlimited access uh, or like for lifetime in comparison to other tools for creating uh, motion graphics or even uh, animated icons and so on. Create Studio, I have found it that it's a good tool. And actually, if you are uh, not knowledgeable or uh, more like intermediate or even for pros, uh, After Effects users, if you combine the, the tool of Create Studio with After Effects, it can actually be really useful to create more uh, outstanding and more um, likable videos. So I don't consider myself the best video creator. As you can see this um, training and improve this uh, self uh, recorded videos and to keep improving them but as far as I have tested out to create uh, uh, with create studio especially on the animated characters it's really easy and in the next part of the video I will show you how you can start using this uh, tool to create the uh, animated characters one of the good things is that it's really easy. It's just like a drag and drop uh, tool. You don't have to really be uh, uh, like in After Effects. You don't have to be really uh, tech savvy with the um, frames and the keyframes and set it up the speed graph and so on. And that's a good thing with Create Studio that for hand shaking, walking, and other style of animations. Actually, Create Studio helps you really good. And of course, there are some other animated character tools, and I haven't tested out that much, it's only some free versions of others, but paying for Create Studio, I think it has been a good decision, because at least I know that I have this tool and I and mixing up the digital asset that you can use from Mbato Elements, After Effects, and now, now that with Create Studio, it's actually a really good uh, idea to be creative and this opportunity to mix up. But as the negative sides of Create Studio is that some uh, characters are might a little bit rigid. They don't have that much uh, sort of movements. So if you want a more specific type of movement of your character, you will have to stick to what is already on the on their presets. Another thing to consider about Create Studio is, is that yes, they have like an upsell, what it's said on these types of uh, tools, is that if you want another types of characters, then you will have to either pay for the monthly or yearly subscription or pay the one-time credits uh, for the, the specific character. So that might be one of the, probably not negative side, but the thing to consider when using Create Studio. And following up, I will show you the tool. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now in this part of the video, I will try to create another video. I will show you how it Create Studio works. And basically here, you have the basic area, a home, store, in case you need some other templates that will make easier the video creation also depending on the type and category so but for this you will need either to have the credits or the all access plan which is by the monthly or annual pass so it will depend on your need but actually the first payment that you do that it's around 47 dollars for just one time, it's enough. Also, if you're a After Effects user or any other platform, you can actually combine and create really good videos. So that's a good thing with Create Studio that it makes easier the video creation according to any need that you have for logo creations, especially also for YouTube openers. So. As I said, it will be depending on the, your needs. And well, here it's the all access plan. So it will depend also again 
the monthly plan. And in case you need to do some more tutorials, you can go straight ahead to the Create Studio official YouTube channel. Here, there are some um, videos that can be helpful. Besides, I hope that this video is helpful for you that also can give you a first steps on getting to know if Create Studio is a good tool. For me and for personal projects, I find it easy to work with. Let's create here a new project. Let's say this will be Create Studio Review. And I will go here to choose the 1080 pixels HD and a background you can or you can set up also the different width and height and the background. And basically this is the main dashboard. Here, if you need to add text, you can edit here, create studio. Also, if you need to change the fonts, or also if you need to upload your own custom fonts, you can also do it from here. You need to upload them via, and here you can add the custom fonts. Here you can set up, and it's worth mentioning that it must be in the WOFF2 format and also on a zip file. So let me go back here to the video. So that is like a project settings. So for example, I didn't save here and then create studio. We can just save. Let me just change for a Bevas Neu. Then we set up here back. Here we can change font size, spacing, and so on. So I will try to create like an intro video using Create Studio. The good thing is they already have, the good thing they already have some pre-made templates. So if you want to work even faster, you can choose any one that you need. Also, there are have here uh, the scenes that you want to to use. So let's search for one that it's sort of for an intro. Let's say let's see this superhero. Let's you can just click and download. And once it's download, you can actually just drag and drop. We will set up here. And for example, to add here your logo, we can just click here. We can actually, okay, let's delete. This is one thing that you cannot do is to you just backspace. Okay, so I just deleted here. That's one thing that we cannot just copy and paste. So if we go inside here and we can just here where it says replace logo. We can just click here, replace. We must add another image. So you can just import yours at once. We can go here. I will just use one of my logos and I will just double click here. And we have it here easily. We can just have here the main. So we go back to the main project and let's say we want the same superhero, but with another scene. So we can go back here to the studio. We let's search for another scene. Let's go back here to, to backgrounds. And as you can see here, there are like the ones that we can buy with some credits or if we have the all access plan and then we can just search for the one that is suitable and let's find one that it's also suitable for a superhero so 
let's choose this one okay we drag and drop and we have here that was starting so we can add a transition before so we have we need an out trans transition and let's just download one here and we just drag and drop we just hit it here and okay to change the color we just click here we can either use a drop or if we want for example this pink color we can just clap it here and we might have a better transition color so this is a thing and for example this is the good thing about create studio that you all these minor details you don't have to really worry about that much they are already set up easily and now here in the part of characters especially well here they have in case you need hands like in devices or if you need some 3d characters you can just also download the ones that are already included or if you want the special ones of course as i mentioned you need the other plan so let's search for the superhero we have it here and let's say we will just add the superhero after a while if we want to expand the time here okay so let's say we want this character to do some action so here you can just find the different actions that the figure and character can do and let's say fly in so actually this is more like a fly it seems like a more fly out or we can just add it let's say that if we say so here it's we just have to block here okay so I have here the character let me set it up to a bigger area and then he stays and that's another thing that creates studio mouse well, I think that they should already fix it, like to do a proper change of time or to expand the time. So to add more action to the character, we have to go here to, let's say, idle. And then we add this more time so we don't lose the character. So let's say it passed the car. And then we have our character and he stops there by and then we want another action so we can just say he wants to take a selfie and that's another thing that if we cannot change like exactly the time here as far as i have learned how how to use create studio we will have to create again a copy of the character we must have the same space let's say here this is as far as I have learned if I'm wrong if, if there's other create studio people watching this but as far as I know there is or I have searched haven't found a copy uh, of the same icons so let's say I want to reduce the time of the idle and we have it here so okay let's change the action here back let's see what he's drinking he's drinking some water and let's say we want him out 
fly out again. Or just we can get, if we can change this to wave. Leave it to drinking. We have to click here, fly out. And then he will go. Then if we go back here, for example, if I have expanded that time here, but we should also expand the time inside so that if we do shift and click, we have this video all set up. Okay, so So we have here the video, now he enters, he drinks, and now he flies away. And then I will just add another transition. Let me see what's another good transition to add. Let's add this circle. If you want to change the color, let's choose a more reddish color. Then let's change this yellow to a more bluish. And then we have the white. And if we go back here, and then we have the white screen. Okay. Or we can have this also as well. It's more like an animated cool one. Let's see the difference between this one and the other one. This one, we have to scale it. It seems like more 125 or less 120 and they're like minor details so 122 and here in the end we can just add another Say till here. We should go back here, add some more time. I hope that this video is getting good so that you can also learn how to use or it's helpful to know how to create. Okay, we can just add let's see another I will just add another shape. I will just create a white screen here. And for example, we have it here directly to the white screen. We have here the superhero, he flies, and then we have the... So it will depend also on your cre creativity. That's a good thing on, on having Create Studio. It's a good tool for creative people. So let's add the end card. We have here channel transition, we have end card graphics, end card kits. I will just add it this one. And we back drag and drop. 
we will set the end YouTube header here. And after the explosion, we have the white screen. And then we should also make it a little bit wider to avoid any black area. And we have the explosion and the thanks for watching. Previous, let's say I don't, I want to change the font of all these areas. So we go back here. We just change here to Eva's noise here. And also there is also the subscribe button. So we will have to go inside the subscribe button and we just change it to Eva's noise. So we will have here the setup. We can just delete these ones or just, just to show what it's coming up or I will set it up here at the end of the video. Also the, the ones that the recommended videos. And of course we have it here and we have the animation. Thanks for watching subscribe and we have it here and I will leave it here in 30 seconds you can see it here and of course we will have to set up some music the good thing about create studio they just released twinkle it's a good tool for creators and video creators to use some music as background so I will just open twinkle Twinkle is a new tool that Creator Studio have for their tools. Here you can find different music, music tracks, sound effects, and also they have a text to speech, but, uh, but I actually recommend more Speechello. It's another tool that I already have some article on my website. Um, it's not really good as Speechello. Let me see if I can also show you. Okay, so here I have Speechello and here I have Twinkle. So I will go to AI Voice and the one that I use mainly is Andrew, the one that I have found. So now you can listen. Hello, this is Andrew. This is a preview for full text. Okay, let me add. Okay, let me make it further. Hello, this is Andrew. I am a text-to-speech voice. This is a preview. Okay, now I go to Twinkle. Let's, I have here English. Let's use Charles and then generate preview. Hello, this is Andrew. I am a text-to-speech voice. And I don't know, but my ear seems different and better to use Speechello as in, as Twinkle. But here is the option. Speechello is another better option. But here, if if you already have Twinkle and you need a text to speech tool, here is it. And also here, there at Twinkle, there is also some special effects and visual effects. But just to go further with the video creation I will just set up uh, let's find that's the thing also with these tools to find a good one a good uh, music so I will just click on this track let's listen probably a little bit too probably a little bit too much piano let's go out for action or make it happen. Let me test a journey embarks. Let 
that's the thing about cinematic. Probably it's too cinematic. Let's see morning mood. Or let's go directly to rock. Probably this is a good one. We can also try to search for any other sound effects here. That's a thing that almost find it the perfect takes time. And as you can see here in this video, I'm trying to also keep this area because these are the steps actually that a video creator as beginner or intermediate you must follow or you follow and also or probably even the professionals there even probably have better ways to find the correct music so let's try to find a good also transitions for the transition that we have created probably too short and well we just we have some This is the thing with these tools, trying to find the perfect one. So if we go back here to media, we will just go to import. I will just upload. And I will just here drag to can add a swipe and as you can see here we have the black so we can move before we can just set it up here and set it up to avoid that area those minor details okay we have here, let's add the transition noise here. We can add it here directly. <laughs> Probably here the color, it's a little bit lost. So I will just change the color here. Let's add some more. And as you can see here, we have the black. So well, we'll just grab like this red color. OK. And OK, now we have the issue we're having here. Okay, let's add it twice. We have it down here to have it more order. Okay, so for example, this we can look for an explosion. Here at Twinkle. So let's go more like, let's see if we can find a like bomb explosion. Let's. Let's use this one. It's probably the best suitable. Or these are more like booms. Let's stick to the one that we already used. We go back here. We will have to import media. 
to the explosion. Uh, no, we, and we go back here and we have to import. We have the explosion. And we also have here explosion. This might be suitable. We'll set it here on the same time. Actually, the sound of the this one is even louder. So here we can just get get it down the volume. But it's not really loud, so As you can see, we already have created the uh, videos. It can take more time. It can show you just like to find uh, probably a whoosh for the So now let's add a whoosh, probably for the flying. We have it here. We just add it back again. And also, let's add here this whoosh. We have it here. Let's listen. Probably a little bit. We get it actually it's really, really low here. So if we set it back here to 30, 24. The wash is too low. And that's the things to really listen. So we'll just remove it. Just keep it at as simple as that. And basically, this is how we have the video. So I hope it helps you to lead, to know a little bit more of what, about what can you create with Create Studio. It's really easy and simple to use. As you can see, I don't spend probably like 10 to 15 minutes what it took me to create this animation. Of course, if you need to add more text, shapes, icons, or to have a, like this tracking spotlight like more like a James Bond effect. It's really useful. So we just can save and publish. We can just choose the destination and that's it. As easy as that, you can also combine it with After Effects. Or with on, or also with any other tool that you have for video creations. I hope that it helped you to learn more about Create Studio. I do recommend it because the, for the price, it's affordable and a good tool to have. You don't have to be paying the monthly price of subscription it, only with the basic. Or of course, if you go for the other plan, then also, well, you have to change for that, the monthly payment. But for now, the basic plan is uh, fully recommended. Also, Twinkle, it's a good to have tool because you already can mix up with also After Effects or with any other tool. So I hope that this video helped you and thanks for watching.